Grand Opera is about big stories, love, hate, murder, and there are certainly good guys and bad guys, that's for sure. But in a complex story like this, sometimes those roles can shift in surprising ways. Let's find out more. I'm uh, Sebastian Catana, and I sing Nabucco. At the beginning, he starts as a very brutal dictator. He gets, uh, he, he wants so much power to the point where he goes, um, literally, he goes, you know, mad. He goes insane. There's a point in the opera where he even proclaims himself God. So I would say Nabucco and his daughters, it's kind of like, mm, he's not the best father. I'm Chila Boros and I play uh, the role of Abigail. She has to show herself as the strongest woman ever. She has a lot of pain. She wants to be loved and is not loved by quite anybody. They can't see her as Fenena, maybe, uh, as a delightful woman, no. Hello, I'm Adam Deagle, and I'll be portraying the character of Ishmale in Nabucco. In the opera, he's an emissary to the Assyrians, so make your favorite political joke there. <laughs> he, uh, he fell in love with uh, a woman on each side, and he's, he's conflicted throughout the opera, but um, I, I think that uh, in his heart of hearts, he's, he's with uh, the good side. My name is Margaret Metzkapa, and I'm singing Fenena in Nabucco. She's a victim of her circumstances, but she's a heroine in the way that she reacts to them. She loves him, and it's, there's, it's just very pure, and she just loves him to death, and she's willing to go to the ends to protect him. My name is Morris Robinson, and I'm playing the character of Zachariah. And you always look at this guy as, as, uh, as the downtrodden who's praying to God to help him with this mortal, mortal en enemy, which is Nabucco and the Babylonians. Because he is the underdog, is probably more viewed as the one that needs the most help. But he does open the opera with a knife, you know, threatening to kill uh, Nabucco's daughter. So it's kind of like, how, can this, how good can this guy be? Hi, my name is Musang Ngwana. I'm playing the role of the high priest in Nabucco. Uh, he's a very intense character. He is clergy, he's the high priest, and he's behind the scenes. I've played older characters before, but he's not just old. He's like a golem character in Lord of the Rings. He's deformed, he has to do things. He, he's corrupt, and he has no allegiances except to Baal and perhaps Abigail because they have a close relationship. You know, goodness is, I think, lies within the characterization or within the, the individual from the perspective of which you view the scenario. Uh, it's like cowboys versus Indians, good guys versus bad guys. It's, uh, you know, North versus the South in the Civil War. It's a, whatever perspective you're on is the right one. And uh, <clears throat> so it's hard to categorize as good and evil depending on which side you're on.